Hi there! Today we're going to set up a level 90 Dark Knight Cross Hotbar for players who play with a controller on PC or console. You do not have to be level 90 to set this up if you want to get a jump start on a consistent cross hotbar. A few guidelines. You will only have to set this up once and will work for any level of content you play. You'll never have to adjust for syncing purposes. These are my personal setups and you are free to use or change what you need that fits you. I am using a double stack cross hotbar as I believe it's the most effective and the video will be linked at the end of this one. I build these with the mindset of having the most important abilities with low cooldowns on the bottom cross hotbars for ease of access and longer cooldown abilities on the top cross hotbar. I separate these into four sections in my head, right trigger one, right trigger two, left trigger one, and left trigger two. So I have a disclaimer for this setup for Dark Knight. There are many openers with this shop and it is up to you to find which one that works for your situation. I am basing my hotbar off the general balance discord opener. I find Dark Knight opener to be the least beginner friendly for controller. So this hotbar is not set up for necessarily the opener, but after that. Once you finish the opener, Dark Knight is actually very simple rotation with just using abilities on cooldown and keeping MP between 3000 and not over capping. So do not let the opener discourage you. It will take some time to practice to make it feel right on controller. Using this setup, let's build our cross hot bars one section at a time. Right trigger is always our main GCD combos, hard slash siphon and soul eater. We also have our edge of shadow here as it's our consistent weavable for the rotation if you have MP and keeps our damage buff up as well as gives us access to our big damage shadow bringer ability. Moving to the right trigger d-pad is our OG CD weavables and our important tank ability Blackest Knight which is basically our best form of damage mitigation for big pools and boss tank busters or just high damage AoEs. We have Blood Reppin right next to it as it's usually one of the first abilities you weave into your opener as well as Delirium finds itself here since we weave that pretty early on as well. Lastly, Blood Spiller is for when we get enough job gauge or use Delirium and is in the position to specifically mimic Quietus, which is the AoE version of Blood Spiller which I have on the left trigger. It's good habit to match single target and AoE on different parts of the hotbar just for your own headspace. Right trigger two is our cross hotbar, which is for damage mitigations and job abilities. I always keep Ramper and Reprisal in the same position for all tanks, as well as the special ability each tank has that is 120 second cooldown, which for Dark Knight is Shadow Wall. Cherish these mitigations like your life depends on them. We also have Plunge as our gap closer and weaving into our opener. Right trigger two D-pad is our range, aggro, interject, and a vulnerability. Range, aggro, invul, and interject are always in the same spot for each tank as well. Here we have our damage mitigation quotations, Dark Mind. Yeah, if you've watched my other cross hotbar videos for tanks, then you know this is a huge flex spot and you can put anything there that makes sense for you. I put Dark Mind because I don't use it often, lol. <laughs> Left trigger one is always our AoE GCD combos. I generally like to keep AoE to the left trigger and single target to the right trigger if at all possible for all of my jobs, tanks, healers, or DPS. We have our two AoE GCDs Unleash and Stalwart Soul. We have Shadowbringer which is an important ability and has two charges at 60 seconds. Lastly, we have the AoE version of the Edge of Shadow which is the Flood of Shadow for AoE trash pulls. These do mimic each other, single target on the right trigger, AoE on the left trigger. Left trigger d-pad is our job abilities, and like I mentioned in the beginning, is kind of a weird mashup of job abilities that you weave in for the opener and keep on cooldown. I specifically have them set this way since Living Shadow is double weaved with Salted Earth after our third GCD damage ability in the opener. Split and carve for the same reason as it's just weaved in as well as Quietus is in this position to mimic Blood Spiller on our right trigger, one. Lastly, our left trigger two is our job abilities and roll like Provoke, which is in the same spot for every one of my tanks while the other three are flex spots. For Dark Knight, we have Dark Missionary, which is another damage mitigation for magic damage only, Abyssal Drain, which is only used on four or more enemies, so really specifically just two big trash pools. If there are not four or more enemies, then you can use Split and Carve, to which they share a recast timer. Or if you're taking tons and tons of damage and you want to get some HP back, then that might be a good time to use this ability as well. Lastly, Oblation, which is our damage mitigation. Oblation is pretty important for damage mitigation, and I find this spot on the left trigger to hotbar to be the most comfortable to reach. 
especially since I'm mostly using it during AOE trash pulls and dungeons, so that's why I like it on the AOE side. Lastly, our left trigger 2 D-pad is the same for every tank, which is arms length, limit break, low blow, and our tank stance. These are more because they're situational and I don't want to accidentally press them like tank stance and limit break, which is why they're over there tucked away in the corner. If you're wondering where my sprint and other utility abilities are, then you'll find them on the cross hotbar 3, which is shared between all my jobs. My double stack cross hotbar video will show you how to set that all up. I do not put utility abilities on my double stack cross hotbar because cross hotbar 1 and 2 should be abilities that I'm using in battle or pertinent to that job specifically. Yes, I may have some open slots to put these kind of abilities on for specific tank jobs, but if I can't match it with my other tanks, then I won't do it for anyone because not everyone has the fortunate situation to have empty slots. Shirk also doesn't make it on the hotbar as I've never needed it for all the casual content, alliance raid, or eight man raids. This really only plays a part in savage content, extremes, unreals, or ultimates, so if you're not doing the high-end content, you you don't need to worry about it. Now with this, we have our full setup for level 90 Dark Knight. These are highly personal setups and I find that I struggle most with Dark Knight cross hotbars and this is what I settled on after practicing with it for quite a while. Anything you do, you're gonna need to practice it because the openers just really don't make sense with the long-term rotation. It's more about aligning timers and getting everything for your MP situated instead of actual hard rotation. If this helped even a little bit, don't forget to limit break through that subscribe button and watch my other tank controller guides, which I will link down below. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials and guides, then you can click here.